Sure is, Kaz. Insha'Allah, we catch some fish. Wonder how that got there. Ahead. Hold on tight. This way, Kazwa. Uh, uh, are we safe? Looks like it. I think he needs our help. dangerous Zeki. Next time, be careful where you toss your fishing line. I don't think there'll be a next time. Look under the ocean, what do you see? Lots and lots of fish, so beautiful to see. Look, there's a turtle, look, there's a stingray, look, there's a seahorse, yellow and green. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Big blue whales and octopus too, an eel a shark swim in the deep blue. Look, there's a green fish. Look, there's a blue fish. Look, there's a yellow fish. So many to see. Do you ever wonder who created this and who created that? Allah created the oceans. Look. 
Look at the starfish Red, pink and blue Isn't it amazing? For me and for you Look at the seahorse swimming away So many beautiful creatures Look and you'll see Do you ever wonder who created this? And who created that? Allah created the oceans Lots and lots of fish SubhanAllah I can see a crab SubhanAllah I can see a seal SubhanAllah And a sea turtle too SubhanAllah Do you ever wonder Who created this? And who created that? Allah created the oceans Big beautiful oceans Kazwa! Kazwa! <sighs> what time is it? It's almost midday. You've been asleep for 15 hours. <sighs> okay. Maybe one more hour. But I've got some exciting news. What is it? The carnival will be in town tomorrow. Are you serious? Yes. Kaswa, where are you going? The carnival is coming to town. I have to tell them. Tell who? Tell everyone. But wait, Kaswa. You haven't washed up or brushed your teeth. You haven't even changed your clothes. You can't go out like that. It's okay, Zaki. Tomorrow, inshallah, I'll wash extra hard and be the cleanest one at the carnival. Kazwa, wait! Someone doesn't smell too good. He makes me want to go home and shower again. Sorry guys, he's just very excited. Now you really need to go home and have a shower, Kazwa. First I need to tell Tufa and Tima. But you're so dirty now. Even your clothes are covered in mud. Tomorrow, inshallah, I will dress in my best clothes and be the best dressed at the carnival. Now, I need to go tell everyone. Kazwa, wait! Kazwa, you shouldn't be eating if you haven't washed your hands. But I'm so hungry. It's been a very long day. You can say that again. Let's get you home and cleaned up. Kazwa, 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 it's time to wake up. Kazwa, the carnivals arrived. They got all your favorite rides and food stalls. Come on, get up. Everyone's going. Kazwa? Ugh, I can't go to the carnival, Zeki. I, I feel sick. Oh no, Kaz. That's terrible news. Duhur, inshallah. This was going to be the best day ever. And now I'm too ill to do anything. Why do I have such bad luck? It wasn't bad luck, Kazwa. You may have got sick because you didn't wash up before you went out. And after you fell in the mud, you didn't clean yourself properly. And you didn't wash your hands before eating the apple. But I had to tell everyone about the carnival. That's no excuse, Kazwa. Washing ourselves is one of the most important parts of our daily routine. It's how we keep away all the nasty germs that can make us sick. Prophet Muhammad وسلم, told us that cleanliness is half of our iman, which is our faith. You're right, Zeki. Sometimes I just get too excited. 
I wish I had listened to you. Why don't you get in the shower and wash up? Okay. Brush your teeth. Don't forget to wash your hands. Don't forget to clean your ears. Don't forget to clean up your room. Don't forget to wash your face. Don't forget to tidy up. Don't forget to clean your Alhamdulillah, I feel so much better after that shower. Come in. Are you feeling better now, Kazwa? Yes, alhamdulillah. Please come in. Surprise! We wanted to come and cheer you up. The carnival isn't the same without you, Kazwa. Thanks, guys. I'm feeling even better now, alhamdulillah. Did you want to rest some more, Kazwa? Are you kidding? Let's all go to the carnival. Yay! Smile, be so kind, respect your mom and dad as much as you can. Alhamdulillah, we had a great day today at the carnival. Remember children, that our body is a blessing from Allah and we should take good care of it. One of the best ways to do this is by keeping it clean as much as we can. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum Rashid. Wa alaikum assalam Zaki. Are you feeling okay? Yeah, I couldn't be better. He's being lazy. He just won't help anymore. Why aren't you helping out? It's boring. And I don't need to do the gardening. They will do it. I just want to relax today. But working hard is good for you. So by cleaning or doing anything productive, it will actually make you feel better. Not to mention how happy it'll make your mother feel. Nah, I want to be like a horse. They just get to lay around in the field all day, while the farmer does all the work. Hmm, would you like me to help? I have nothing important to do right now. Yes, that would be great. Thank you so much, Saki. <laughs> Is everything okay, Rashid? Yes, Saki. It's a beautiful day, and I don't have to go to school. Everything is perfect. Why aren't you playing with the others? I just don't feel like playing right now. Really? I thought you loved playing sports. Nah, not anymore. Now I just prefer to lie around and watch others playing. I can still cheer when my team wins. That's not the same as playing, Rashid. You'll have much more fun playing. I don't want to exercise. I want to be just like that bird, sitting on that branch. Hmm. Thank you so much for inviting me to lunch, Halima. My pleasure, Zaki. We wanted to thank you for helping us with the gardening. The food looks so delicious. 
I didn't cook it all myself, Zaki. Harun did a lot of the preparation for me. MashaAllah, Harun. I didn't know you could cook so well. Rashid, slow down, or else you'll get a stomach ache. Don't worry, Zaki. I'll be okay. But you haven't been very active lately, Rashid. So if you eat too much, you can put on too much weight, which can be very difficult to lose. I'll be fine, Zaki. Assalamu alaikum, Rashid. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. Are you okay? You seem tired. Yes, but I'm okay. School finished over an hour ago. You look so tired and out of breath. Maybe, but I'll make it home eventually. Come with me. I want to show you something, Rashid. Look out into the field, and what do you see? Oh, it's the horses. They are helping the farmer. Yes, the farmer relies on his horses to pull his plough and prepare his fields to plant the seeds. They work so hard, and that is why they are so big and strong. And look up there, what do you see? Oh, that bird caught a worm to feed its young. That's right, they have to work very hard to build their nest and get food for their young ones. They live a very busy life. But I work hard at school. That is great, however, just because you work hard in school, doesn't mean you should be lazy after school. It's okay to rest sometimes when we are tired, but we should try not to be too lazy. Being lazy makes us unfit and can also make us sick. Even Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam would ask Allah daily to protect him from laziness. Hard work, especially when helping others, can be so rewarding. Why don't you go play with your friends? I think it will be good for you to start getting fit. I think I have a better idea. I'll go home and help my mother. She may need some help preparing dinner. Now that's an even better idea. Laziness is something that Allah has told us about in the Quran. He mentioned it twice, referring to those who were lazy towards their prayers. The Prophet ﷺ was so concerned about being lazy that he would make dua to Allah each day to protect him from laziness. Let's learn this dua together so we can be protected too. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al wal hazan wal ajzi wal kasal والجبن والبخل وضلع الدين وغلبة الرجال We should be like Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم and recite this dua each day. <تصفيق>
Would you like some fizzy drink, Zeki? No thanks, Kaz. I'm warming up, ready to go for a run. Why don't you come with me? It's the big race next week. And it would be fun to exercise together. I'm far too tired to go running. Maybe we can play soccer or basketball. I don't feel like it, Zeki. You can never win the race, Zeki. You are too big and too slow. Why don't you lay down here with me and enjoy a fizzy drink? No thanks, Kazwa. I want to try to get as fit as possible for the race. Don't forget to clean your teeth from all the sugar in that fizzy drink. Okay, Zeki. I will. Assalamu alaikum, Zaki. Wa alaikum salam, guys. Hope you do well in the big race next week. We're gonna easily win this race. I know, we will get the fastest time too. Come on, Harun. We don't have time to stop now. We need to keep exercising for the race. But I'm hungry. They have chocolate cookies. They are my favourite. We have to stick to our healthy diet, Harun. If we start eating cookies, won't it make us slower? One cookie won't hurt us, and they look so delicious. Mmm, they sure do. Assalamu alaikum, Maui. Wa alaikum assalam, guys. How's the preparation for the race going? Good, alhamdulillah. The race is ours. We got it in the bag. Yeah, too easy. Okay then. See you at the race, inshallah. Oh, you sure will. But make sure you don't blink because we will be running so fast you could miss us. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing, Zeki? I'm warming up, Kazwa. Why are you warming up? I don't need to warm up. I am ready to go. Warming up is very important before running or playing sport. When we stretch our muscles, it helps our blood flow better around all parts of our body. Warming up our body temperature just a little to prepare our body for exercise or sport. If we don't warm up correctly, it can cause us to get injuries or damage our muscles. Ooh. That's right, Kazwa. Very good. Come on, Harun. We don't have time to stop. We'll be late. But I'm hungry. And look at those yummy cakes. They're my favourite. I thought chocolate cookies were your favourite. One cake won't hurt us. And don't they look scrumptious? Mmm. Where are Harun and Rashid? Here they come. Are you sure you're ready to race? We sure are, Zaki. We're ready to win. To your positions, please. On your marks. Get set. Go! Whenever I see anything 
nice I always look to more than twice to It's so amazing to me And I know Yes I know Allah created it perfectly I can see so many beautiful things Where do I start? Look up at the stars And you will see what I mean Subhanallah 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 How perfect is he Why don't you come with me? It's the big race next week! Well done, Zeki. Thanks, Kazwa. Zeki, how did you get so fit? It's easy to get fit, Tufa. We just need to eat healthy foods and do regular exercise. Drinking too many fizzy drinks is bad for our body. Fizzy drinks contain a lot of sugar, and too much sugar can make us unhealthy and unfit. It is also bad for our teeth. We should try to avoid fizzy drinks and drink more water and fresh fruit juice instead. It's the same if we eat too many unhealthy foods. Unhealthy foods cause us to gain weight. And when we gain too much weight or get too unfit, it is very bad for our health. We lose power and become slow. Our bodies are a great blessing from Allah. And so, we need to take good care of them. And never eat just before you do exercise. Oh. Where's Harun? So you have to release the string gently, like this. Oh, that looks easy. Now you give it a try. Okay, so I release the string a little, and then... Wow, look at it go! Well done, Kazwa. Okay, now I pull the string in a bit. Look how high it's going! Be careful now, don't lose it. dangerous in there. Subhanallah! That wind was so strong just now. What's wrong? My kite! It blew into Shadow Valley. <laughs> well, it's not that far in. I could fly in and get it. Really? Sure. You okay? Yeah, I'm fine. 
That lightning bolt was so close to me. Yes, it was. Alhamdulillah, you were okay. Did you hear that lightning strike? We sure did. It almost hit Tufa in Shadow Valley. Why was he in Shadow Valley? My kite is stuck on a branch over there. Well, I'm good at climbing, and I'm not scared of lightning, so let me try. That would be great. But please be careful, Dawood. I thought you weren't scared of lightning. But, but, I'm very scared of thunder. Oh no! What will we do now? Hmm. Well, the kite brought us all together, so maybe we should all go and get it together. But what about the lightning? And the thunder? I know. I'll sing a song. That way, we'll feel less afraid. Great idea. And I know how we can get the kite. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel fright Got it! Ziggy, you're the best! You guys are the best friends ever! Shazakum Allahu Khairan for getting my kite back! That's what friends are for! And that song was so fun to sing. Yes, that's the best fun I've ever had in a storm. Yes, that was so much fun. Let's do it again. No, thank you. I think I better not fly my kite right now. It's too windy. Let's go back to my house for some juice and cookies. Yummy. Sounds good. Let's go. It's a big, big storm and I lost my kite So we sing, 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 then we don't feel frightened It's so hard to get these leaves from my rooftop I think I need to buy a ladder Assalamu alaikum, Zaki. Wa alaikum as salam, Dawood. Have you seen butter today? No, I haven't. What seems to be the problem? Butter didn't come to the playground today. He always comes there after school. Maybe he went home to help his mother with some chores. I went to his house and his mother said he wasn't there. Maybe he went to the library or stayed behind in school to do his homework. But Butter loves to come to the playground after school. Everybody loves to play and have fun, but we also need to spend some time studying so that we can get good grades in school. Is everything all right there, Wood? Um, I think Butter is afraid to go to the playground. Hmm, now why would Butter be afraid to go to the playground? It's so much fun there. Well, some of the other kids have been calling him names. Ah, bullying. Nobody likes to be bullied. I'm glad you have told me, Dawood. Now we need to go find Badr. Badr! 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 Uh, 
السلام عليكم بويز وعليكم السلام زاكي هاف ايذر اوف يو سين بدر توداي نو وي هافنت زاكي اولذو وي كود ريلي يوز هيز هوب رايت اباوت ناو تو هيلب اس جيت ذيس بالون داون يو ار نوت تول انف تو ريتش ذات بالون وود يو لايك سم هيلب يس بليز My balloon. I saw it first. I touched it first. Whoa! Wait a minute, guys. You shouldn't fight and be mean to each other. If you share the balloon, you can take turns to hold it and even play with it together. That sounds fairer and more fun. Don't you agree? Now, why don't you both shake hands and agree to share like good brothers? Okay, Zaki. It's my piece of string. I saw it first. I touched it first. Badr. Badr. We'll never find him. Hmm. Somebody must have seen him. Assalamu alaikum Zain. Have you seen Badr anywhere today? Wa alaikum assalam Zaki. Yes. I saw him today. He was walking towards the woods. Thanks Zain. Now where did I put my glasses? Badr. 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 Oh, there he is. Assalamu alaikum Badr. That looks like a fun comic you're reading. Wa alaikum assalam Zaki. Their wood and I were getting worried about you. You didn't go to the playground after school, and we know that you love to play there. Is everything okay? Um Are you sure Badr? Wouldn't you like to come with us to the playground? Um no thank you. I don't feel like playing today. <gasps> Are you sure you don't want to come to the playground and play soccer with us? Um, I can't. Why not, Badr? Um, if something is wrong, then you can tell us. Some of the other kids at the playground are calling me names and making fun of me. It makes me feel very sad and sometimes scared. That's called bullying. Bullying is a form of oppression, and this is not allowed in Islam. When someone is calling you names, hitting, pushing, or shoving you, or do anything to make you feel threatened or afraid, that's bullying, and it needs to be stopped. But what can we do if they're bigger and stronger than us? If you ever feel like someone is making fun of you or trying to make you feel afraid, first you need to ignore them or ask them to stop. If they continue to make fun of you, then you can try to pretend you don't care or even laugh and joke along with them and maybe then they will stop. But if they continue to call you names and make you feel afraid or even worse, if they hit you or push you, then you must tell a teacher, your parents or a responsible adult. They can then talk to those who are bullying you and explain to them that it is wrong and it must stop but they make fun of me because i'm so tall bullies will always make fun of people because they are different but it's the thing that makes us different from everyone else that makes us so special come on butter let's go to the playground and play soccer What's wrong? Those are the kids who called Badr names. 
Why don't we help them get the ball down first, then we can talk to them and explain why bullying is wrong. It's not only the person that is being bullied who needs to tell a teacher or adult, but if you ever see a friend or any other person being bullied, you should always be a good person or tell someone older who can help the bullying stop. Now let's go play! Can anyone see the new moon yet? I don't see anything. Oh, oh, look, there's a shooting star. Wow, Mashallah. Make sure you all look really carefully because the new moon is tiny and can sometimes be very difficult to see. But don't worry, I'm sure we will see it very soon, inshallah. I think I see something over there. Oh, that's the Ramadan moon. Well, now we know for sure that Ramadan has begun. Yay! So exciting! Yeah, it sure is. There's just something about Ramadan that makes us feel so good inside. Well, now that we have seen the moon, let's get an early night's sleep so we can wake up extra early for suhoor, inshallah. That's a great idea, Zaki. <laughs> Oh, assalamu alaikum and good morning, Zaki. Thanks for letting me stay the night. Jazakallah khairan. Wa alaikum assalam, Maui. Not a problem. Happy to have you here. Let's prepare something light for suhoor. Mm -mm. Even though I'm so tired, this looks so delicious and healthy. That's just what we need to give us some energy for our first day of fasting. Let's see before it's time for Fajr. Assalamu alaikum everyone. Wa alaikum assalam Zaki. Did you have a good sahur Zaki? Yes, alhamdulillah. We had some fruit, dates and eggs. What about you? What did you have? My mum made me a delicious sandwich. Come on guys, it's time to pray Fajr. I'm very excited this Ramadan Zaki. But sometimes it seems like all I think about is food. <laughs> I know you love food, Kazwa, but there are many things you can do during Ramadan apart from eating. It is a time to do as many good deeds as possible, to get lots of extra rewards, inshallah. Oh, okay, Zaki. Let's go read some Quran by the river. Great idea, Kazwa. Did you know, Kazwa, that reading the Qur'an is one of the best things you can do while fasting? We should read as slow as possible and try to understand each word we read so we know what Allah is telling us. Oh yes, that makes sense. <laughs> Helping others 
is another great deed to do while fasting. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Thanks so much for coming to help. My garden is such a mess. Wa alaikum assalam, Nadine. We're happy to help. Allah, the garden looks amazing. It really does. It was lots of fun too. <laughs> Do you guys have plans for iftar tonight? Hmm, I don't know. Me neither. That's perfect. You can have iftar at my place, inshallah. Oh, yummy. What are you cooking, Nadine? It's a surprise, Kaswa, but I'm sure you'll love it. Oh, I can't wait. Me too. Okay, Nadine. We'll see you later, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. It's my turn to sleep, innit? No, you slept there yesterday. No, no I want to sleep on that. No, you want to sleep. You... Assalamu alaikum, guys. Wa alaikum assalam, Zaki. What are you two arguing about now? She slept on the hammock yesterday, so it should be my turn today. I was just laying on her. Oh, I didn't sleep. That's the same thing. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Calm down, guys. First thing is, you need to remember that you are fasting, which means you cannot lose your temper or get angry. And second thing is, you are brothers, and you should always be kind to one another. Do you both want lots of rewards during Ramadan? We sure do, Zaki. Well, did you know that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that you should love for others to have the good things that you have. So if you know that your brother really wants to sleep on the hammock, then you should offer it to him. Be my guest, Harun. No, no, please, I insist. It's okay, you can sleep on it. I said no, it is for you now. Here we go again. Okay, guys. We have to go. Are you coming to Nadine's place for iftar tonight? Yes, we'll be there, inshallah. Okay, great. We'll see you there, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. Assalamu alaikum children. We all hope you have the best Ramadan and gain so much rewards from this great month. Try your best to do more good deeds than what you did last Ramadan. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Ramadan dreams. Oh Ramadan, oh Ramadan, must have mercy Do we have enough money for these? Yes, I think we have just enough for two pairs. That's great, let's get them. I'll count the money first. We'll be amazing wearing these, the best players in town. What's wrong? Where's the money? Oh no. <laughs> Give up, we worked so hard to get that money. 
This is so unfair. We'll just never find it. What is it? Wow! We could buy a thousand football boots with this. Maybe we could buy our own football team. I want one of these. Let's make it two. And, and, and two of those as well. Should we get green, yellow or red? Hmm, I think we can get all of them. Excellent idea. That looks like fun. What are you doing, guys? We're trying to decide what to buy for ourselves. There are so many things we want. If you work hard, I am sure you can have it all. We are ready to buy them all now. Yes, we just need to decide what we want and how much we can carry. Oh, how we get the money to pay for them all. Show him, Rashid. Wow. That is impressive. Where did you get it from? We found it on the footpath into town. Oh, so it's not yours? Yes, it is ours now. Finders keepers. Losers weepers. But there could be someone out there looking for it. You should try to find the owner first. I'm sure it's very important to them. But we lost our money on the way to the store. And no one came to look for us. That doesn't matter. How did you feel when you discovered you'd lost your money? Well, not good. It was terrible. And you want to make someone feel that way too. We need to look for the owner. I think we have a clue. There was a stranger asking about a stone he'd lost. I think his name was Mr. Monocle. He looked very rich and he's staying at the big hotel at the end of the street. I think that's our man. <laughs> But Zaki, if he's very rich, why do we have to give the money back to him? Yes, he probably has so much money. And we lost all our money. We can't even buy new football boots now. It's not all about how rich or poor someone is. It's about being honest. If you find something that isn't yours, you should always try to return it to the rightful owner. We must be honest in our dealings and there is no better reward or feeling than being honest and doing what is right. Okay, we understand Zaki. Excuse me. You must be Mr. Monocle. Yes, indeed, I am. And how may I be of service? I think my friends Harun and Rashid have found something that belongs to you. Oh, really? How wonderful. How wonderful indeed. My stone. Thank you. Thank you so much. How do you feel now? I'm glad we gave it back. Yes, it feels good to have made someone so happy. Rashid, Harun, we thought we would find you here. Mr. Monocle wanted to come and show his thanks. Yes, indeed. It may have been a worthless stone of little value at all, but it was given to me by my great-grandmother. 
and it means the world to me. I wanted to give you a gift to show my deepest thanks. Wow! What do you say, Rashid and Harun? Thanks, Mr. Monaco. Thanks so much! Being truthful and honest makes us feel good and is rewarded greatly by Allah. Prophet Muhammad was known as Al Amin, the trustworthy. This is a quality we should all practice with others. If we find something that isn't ours, then we should do our best to find the owner and return it to them. Remember, always be good to your parents and kind to others. Assalamu alaikum. Hey, what's your name? Uh, I'm Dawood. That's a girl's name. Are you a girl? I think he is. <laughs> You're not from here. You don't go to our school. What are you doing here? I just moved here with my parents. This is my first day at school. Why do you look funny? Um, I don't know. Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Hey, you can't sit there. Oh, sorry. I thought it was free. No, someone is already sitting there. Oh. Yeah, he's invisible. Only clever people can see him. <laughs> he doesn't like you now. You've squashed him and he wants you to go away. He says you look and smell funny. <laughs> single day I play outside So I keep my body healthy running around in the sun I play and it feels so good because Sun provides my vitamin D The nice fresh air that I breathe My friends every day I see Sometimes we rest just a little bit That's how we stay so fit by being active every day Eating lots of fruits and veggies Avoid eating too much junk And when we get home We're so tired Excuse me, is it okay if I play too? No, we already have enough people Bet you're letting other children play? Well they don't look strange, unlike you Assalamu alaikum guys. What's going on here?
Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine. You must be new here. It was my first day at school. Oh, first days are always the hardest. Especially when you don't know anyone. I don't want to know anyone. Nobody likes me here. I want to go back to my old school. They didn't make fun of me because I looked and sounded different. Hmm. I wish I looked and sounded like them. Look at all the children playing. Everyone is different. Some of the children are tall, some are short, some have black hair and some have blonde hair. But they all have something in common. They are all children learning about the world on the same journey of ups and downs to becoming an adult. But how can I stop them from bullying me when I'm so much different from them? First, you have to be strong and always be yourself. Once they get to know who you are and what is special about you, I'm sure you will have many good friends here. Help me! Call the fire brigade! Call the police! Call the postman! Call anybody! I can't get down! Try to stay calm, Rami. We'll get you down. He's very scared. I can see. We will have to find someone with a ladder or call the fire brigade to help. Wait, someone is climbing up the tree. Be careful, Dawood. Don't worry, Zaki. I'm an expert at climbing trees. Where did he go? Our kite! I've never seen anyone climb a tree that good before. He must have trained with the army. Or maybe he was in the circus. Or maybe he has superpowers. Sometimes, people will treat someone differently or even bully them because they look or sound very different or maybe even because of the food they eat or clothes they wear. It can be very sad. Just because someone is from a different place or of a different race doesn't mean they are any different on the inside. And maybe they are being mean to someone who could be the best friend they ever had. Our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam encouraged us to be kind and treat everyone the same. We are waiting for you. I want to show you how high I can fly the kite. Assalamu alaikum, Kazwa. Wa alaikum as Harun. What are you looking for? I'm looking for Rashid. I can't seem to find him anywhere. I think he's lost. He's lost? How? When? He wasn't there when I woke up, and he didn't even come for breakfast. Well, that's strange. I can help you if you like. Really? That would be awesome. I think we should check by the river. Let's go then. Acorn shells? These must belong to Rashid. And there's more. Hmm, what's
What's this? Looks like one of Zane's letters. Maybe he knows where the shit is. Looking for this? <gasps> I thought I lost that. Jazakallah khairan for returning it to me. But where did you find it? By the river. We are trying to find Rashid. Oh, I saw him earlier. He said he was going to visit Zaki. Great, let's go to Zaki's place. Thanks for the help, Zane. Hmm, I wonder how I dropped ya. Well, I better get you delivered. Assalamu alaikum, Zaki. Wa alaikum assalam, Kazwa. Assalamu alaikum, Harun. What are you two up to today? We need your help, Zaki. We can't find Rashid. Well, that's funny. I saw him this morning. He came past for breakfast. Do you know where he went after that? Hmm. He said he was going by the school to do something. Oh, he must be there then. Let's go, Kazwa. Thanks, Zeki. I don't see him anywhere. I'm really worried, Kazwa. He's my only brother. What will I do without him? Don't worry, Harun. We won't leave till we find him, inshallah. Thanks, Kazwa. Hello? Someone there? Did you hear that? I need some help. Please! I think it's Rashid. Where is it coming from? It's coming from over there. Rashid, is that you? Yes, it's me. I'm stuck. Please get me down. I have an idea, Harun. I, I'm, I'm gonna... Thanks so much, Kazwa. I thought I'd be stuck up there forever. Why did you climb up such a big tree? Look how big its acorns are. I wanted to surprise you with one. Wow. MashaAllah. But still, I'm not happy with you. You could have fallen down and really hurt yourself. I'm sorry, Harun. What Harun means to say is that he was very, very worried about you. No, I wasn't. You were worried about me? Alhamdulillah, I am glad you found me. I thought I was going to hang upside down all night. Feel like some acorns? Sure do. Sure, I'll try some. Today, we have learned a very important message. And that is, we should never wander off on our own without telling our parents or someone we know. If we hadn't found Rashid, then he could have fallen out of the tree and really hurt himself. And no one would like that. Till next time, Assalamu Alaikum. Do you ever get worried that your child may click on the wrong video online? Do you wish there was a safe channel for your peace of mind? Well, there is. The number one rated Muslim kids channel in the world, One for Kids TV, is here to solve all these issues. The channel has no advertisements and is safe for your children to browse and watch their favorite videos. With a wide selection of cartoons, songs, educational videos, and much more, your children will not only stay entertained, but also learn so much about their deen. You can listen to songs while your device is switched off and you can download videos to watch them offline. One for Kids TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means the small amount you pay for your subscription is a continuous charity for you, as all the funds raised go towards the production of new cartoons and educational films for your children. The One for Kids TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku, so you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 14-day trial. One for Kids Online Store. 
Check out our range of fun and educational Zaki and Friends products your children will love. There's the world famous Zaki Talking and Singing Toy, Zaki's Arabic Pack, Cloud Pillow, Plush Toys and more. For Ramadan, we have the new Ramadan Show Bag and the Ramadan Educational Pack. Our products are designed to keep your children entertained while learning about their deen. Purchase online now. Shop.oneforkids.net We thank you for your support.